Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how to bake these kind of patterns on a plane to get a tileable texture. And I will show you how to use that in your materials, such as that one. So, without further ado, let's start. I will start with a polygon. Let's enable lines so we can see the segments. I will increase the segments to two. Now this is what we got, a polygon with four faces. I will make this editable, press C or press here. I will select these points, then right click, select belt, and add them like that. Same for these three points. After that, I will select these points, switch to scale tool, press T or press here. Then start scaling. After that, press shift, so it's is gonna snap the percentage of that scale amount let's make it 200 percent perfect now we can use cloner easily because we can see that we have a grid spacing 50 centimeters so which means that this length is 100 centimeters and that one is 200 so it is always good to know these numbers when you use cloner object. Let's press Alt and select cloner object. I will change my mode to honeycomb array. Then I will change my orientation to X and Z. Now let's play with the width and height. I will lower the width to 50 because there is some offset so instead of 100 i should use 50 for the height let's make it 200 perfect i will increase my width count something like 20 also i will change the color okay now let's select our polygon i will select the middle point and push it up Now I want to bevel these edges. To do that, I need to connect these objects. So I will select cloner, press Alt and select connect object. This is gonna weld these points for us. Now I want to add bevel deformer and put it under the cloner. But it should be in the connect object. Let's increase the offset to something like 5 and increase the subdivision. I want to include these horizontal lines, uh, edges, so I will lower the threshold. Okay, that looks perfect. Let's change our display to normal. And this is what we got. I will bake that into a plane. Let's create a plane. Just move it higher than this pattern this is gonna be enough i don't need to change anything now i will right click uh, sorry before doing that i want to change my layout to standard because i'm gonna create a material okay now let's right click on the plane material tags and back material since this is going to be a tileable texture, it doesn't have to be really big. Let's make it R12. Options. I want to bake normal. Normals. I will change my method to tangent. And in the source tab, I should put a mesh, not a deformer. So I will right click and say current state the object we can hide that we will use that one you can see that it is fully editable i will rename that to pattern let's go to back material tag and i will put that pattern in the source tab i will not change auto uvt on i will just set it off because when you create a plane it has automatically a perfect uv space so we don't have to do anything 
Now, if I say back, it's going to say that the um, object needs a material. Let me show you. Yes, so let's quick make a quick material. Just double click and put on the plane. Now, let's hit that back one more time. That was really fast, and this is what we got. Now, I will save that as jpeg or png whatever you like now i will show you how to use that texture let's create a new scene Control n i will create a plane i'll create a material go to normal and import the texture that we have just baked i will apply that to the plane I will change this material's projection to cubic so I can scale it. Let's see, we should texture mode and press T. And you can see that it's perfectly tileable. Big or small. Now I want to show you an example from an upcoming tutorial. Let's turn up that subdivision surface and select that object. I made a selection. Then I applied an Octane material. Let's open Node Editor. I used exactly the same texture. I just changed the UV and UV size. Then link that to the normal of that material. Let's check the render. I will enable subdivision surface and library window. Let's change the angle. So you can see that we can get really good results without touching any other third party programs. By the way, that tutorial should have been uploaded um, today, but it took so much longer than I thought. So I am still working on that if you are interested. Okay, guys, that was it. Hope you learned something new on this tutorial. And I will see you in the next ones. Goodbye.